Hello, good morning everyone. This is Royal Kim and the Kim is Catch Double EM. Guys, I'm coming from my junction, the Royal Junction. <laughs> Kim has already started owning junctions. Oh god, this is so funny. But it's just psyching myself. Let's go down there. This is our cabin. Guys, today we have some activities that are happening and uh, they are very important for the future of our farm. They are very vital and they are very sensitive and they're going to give us the next big step that we didn't see coming <clears throat> yeah so wow. let me show you some of the vegetables this is uh call it hunde it's like cow peas they're like uh the 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 neighbors planted them and now just waiting for rain this is our fence from the outside we have an advantage of all this vegetation here and wow Yesterday actually I did some activities that I didn't show you. Let me go inside and show you. Yeah, as we wait for a guy that is coming. As we wait for a guy that is coming so that we can do some activities. Ooh. Don't worry. It's just me. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, so we are here finally. Everything is just just chill, very silent. Oh, <laughs> man, I love this home and I love this neighborhood. I mean, people are just silent doing their thing. Wow. Let me, let me open our door. Then I have come with some fruit juice that I want to serve in one of my small cups. And then we go back there. I show you what is happening. Guys, remember I told you I'm going to actually run away from... <laughs> but sometimes I do misuse English. Like, seriously? Yesterday, I think there is something I said. And then my people were like, Kim, man. <laughs> God, will you remember? I said, uh, I wish you guys were here to feel the smell <laughs> of, the, of the meat. And that was just to smell the aroma. Guys, you know, let me tell you. It's very... I'm telling you, it's very easy to just misuse English because, especially for us, eh, we are so much used into just speaking Swahili all along. So, ah, English can be a little bit not tough, but um, you know, it can be a little bit stressful. You know? So, like sometimes you're looking for a word in your head, and then you're like, see, so like, like right now, I'm talking of head, and it's in my brains, and it's not. To be honest, I don't know, man. English is just so white. Sometimes when you focus on pronouncing perfectly or, you know, saying things the way they should be said, trust me, you can really, really struggle, guys. You know, you can really, really struggle. So I was this, I was in this uh, uh, hotel somewhere. I told them, man, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not serving other drinks anymore. So I just want the juice, eh? So that I can uh, see it's blended and it's purely mango. You know. So I'll, I'll take that one cup for breakfast now. And I keep the rest for maybe later. You know. So let's give it a test. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So let me show you what we did. So I, 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 I misuse English a lot, but then again, I don't like focusing on the perfection because trust me, I will keep you waiting. <laughs> I'll always be like, um, 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 um. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never be straightforward in what I want to say. So guys, we also finished up this uh, grill, this uh, picket fence on that corner. It's we just remaining with painting. Even this one, the painting is not perfect. We need another layer, like layer two. Yes, and uh, wow. So we have this uh, guy coming. Right now he's preparing flowers because I told him, man, the money that you want is a lot and I can't get it for me. 
we we uh, we like I bargained, bargained, and then we agreed on a certain deposit that I told him um, I'll give him at the end of the month, but we can start our project as early as now. Yes, like planting the flowers because right right now we don't have the rain, so we can do the planting, and then the rains will be back. In any time, rains can be here. So let's go back and see what Kim did yesterday. Guys, remember I told you I'll work on my grass. I didn't do it perfectly, but at least I swept. You see how it's green now? We had a lot of leaves here, to be honest. A lot of leaves, but I swept them. You know, you can see. No leaves. These leaves are just for today. These ones are just for today and yesterday night, maybe. But either way, it's very, very clean. My lawn is very, very clean. Yes, I also, I also cleared this bush that was here, guys. Remember, we had a very bushy look here. I cleared it. This grass I gave my neighbor. But I know it's going to sprout again. I also checked on my tomatoes. I also did a little bit of, uh, you know, lifting the soil and stuff. Then uh, I think this fenesi. Oh God, a king. My Kenyans will kill me now. Because the other day you reminded me again this name, Fenesi. It should be. I, I have to remember that name today for Fenesi. This is Fenesi. It's really doing good. Now this banana has to be transferred somewhere there. Because it can't coexist on this same same area with that one. Yes, I also like uh, lifted the soil again for my uh, uh, kales and everything here. I mean, that was yesterday in the evening when it, even my onion and everything I lifted. Yes, because it's just, I mean, that is what I did. And then uh, we also have what here. Yes, so, so these are the flowers that we will do on the fence. These ones, guys, see these flowers? These ones, they are the ones that we're going to be planting for the fence all around the farm around the farm every corner you know yes and as we talk right now he's getting ready he's preparing mm. this is so blessing you know guys you need to have a taste of um, mango juice ah. So we're going to be planting these flowers. The exact, exact type here. Okay. Morning, how about this? Wow. So these are our flowers, guys. So let's see what he will come with. We can add more flowers. At least by look now, after we prune them, you can see we have different types of flowers. And now we're going to add more. Guys, do not worry about that white, uh, those white spills of our white paint. I'll just put a cover of the army green paint and then you won't see them again you know wow well, i even uh, a little bit reduced my lemon grass it was so many leaves so i reduced some especially the old old ones yes and all the other small flowers this is what i was telling you maybe the other time when i was, I was explaining i was in hurry today we are not in hurry because it's the day that is meant for our farm so these flowers were very tall. So this guy advised me the only way uh, to make these flowers to grow like bush like you have to cut them low so that they can grow you know with branches you see. So they were very tall so we cut them and now because they have already ad adapted in the soil so they are going to grow and you know like branches and all. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know guys, this is really interesting. To be honest, it's really interesting because as much as I'm doing content creation, but developing this home and this farm gives me a very separate purpose and a, a very different feeling from me pursuing a digital creation journey because I have something in the real life that, that I'm watching, that I'm looking after that i'm taking care of that that i can see growth every single day and this makes me oh more than happy you know especially when it comes to flowers you know like uh, for a while we haven't been for like two weeks now we have been so much into the cabin because we've been doing the finishers so the outside we are like you know like not hard <sighs> yeah but now it's about time 
So let's wait for our big brother when he gets here. It's not like a big brother. He's actually like the age of my dad, my late dad. So he's like a dad to me because he's very experienced actually. When you talk of all the schools in Yabuhansi, all the schools that have uh, the best flower patterns and all that, he's the one that takes care of them. We're going to do a contract for four months. He's going to plan them and take care of them for four months. And then after that, he can hand over to me. That will be around maybe January or maybe February. So for the grill, eh? Someone really scared me yesterday, yesterday, told me, you can get cancer from rust. I was like, oh, please don't say that again. You know, we know cancer is everywhere, but mentioning cancer is very, very dreadful. <laughs> Personally, it took my dad, so I don't like even hearing about cancer. So, wow. So you see, these are the fats and these are the fats as well. So, guys, we will keep every weekend taking care of the grill you know using it the only way to get to make this uh, grill uh, uh ready and to make it good and you know like in Swahili we say we find is a way to just make it get used into grilling meat and you know keeping away the rust and to just keep it away from being oxidized the only way to keep this metal from being oxidized is just keeping oil here yeah, every single time oil and oil and oil this one natural from uh, beef meat is the perfect one that is the only way and then uh, our metal won't be oxidized and we won't have rust because moisture plus oxygen and an iron material then you get iron three oxide that should be the rust i don't know anything about that guys it was just chemistry so i, I i'm not even perfect on that so if I'm, I say anything wrongly, just forgive me. But this juice is really slapping. Mm. Wow. Guys, if there is something that I'm admiring is that now it's my lawn. Oh, God. Hey. Can you believe this? Man, this is so beautiful. I mean, those days when we used to... You remember when we were arranging these stones, you know, like plant? We didn't know whether we will get here. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that if there is one magic that I have learned with homesteading if there is one magic that I have learned with homesteading I mean the compound and nature will will always keep surprising you if you put your energy and your love to it you know if you show some concern and you show some uh, uh, art of taking care of the nature around you then it will keep surprising you and making you so proud mm. cheers for those who are awake now i know you're taking breakfast ah cheers <sighs> i love my lawn man i really love it i also got an idea yesterday i was told actually i could plant you see this uh it's very possible inside a lawn area like this one you can plant some trees that are always half shared you know trees like um we have these trees that like that that grow like umbrellas i don't know whether you know them guys i i know a lot of people now get me when i say that the good thing with uh everything even if you don't know the real name of something when you just give a description people will get you i know people already get me the trees that grow like an umbrella <laughs> hmm. guys honestly i just feel so motivated coming here every day just gives me purpose keeps me so happy ah <sighs> there is nothing healing in this world and in this life other than just doing an off-grid homestead and you know building a homestead from scratch to something oh god and you know always busy trying to transform it man it's so 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 inspiring i also got an idea let me tell you you see this fence that we put behind here we are going to remove that fence and then on the back side of that cabin from that corner to that corner we're going to do a bricks wall but 
the the height of that deck just the height of that deck to make sure that the rain water from this side eh? i know we we'll love a gutter we have to fix our gutter because we need to harvest water but rain water or maybe water from this side you know won't go under the deck you know won't go under the deck and then these flowers we are going to extend them plant more we continue with them all around you know just around the pathway up to up there to just make sure that all the pathways on both sides they have these beautiful flowers let me tell you why we're going to have this water blocked from entering under the deck now let me show you so that i won't tell you stories without a reason you know look at that lawn <laughs> man i love it so much this is what happens we have water coming up to this point and then it, it it's like stagnant around here you see look at that this other area look the water comes all this way and then it's stagnant here that's not good that's not good under the deck it should remain dry all along right guys if i'm not wrong this is my first time doing such a home and a house and i've never built another house somewhere else but i'm learning that from you and also from other people so tell me whether that idea is correct and that time when we were building that small wall on each post that is holding the desk or around the cabin under the deck i mean holding the deck not desk i'm going to make sure that um, we build a brick pillar that is uh, that is holding the deck in case by any case one day one of the post maybe breaks or you know though i the kind of trees that we used on the post man it's gonna take a million years but in case the deck will be held by the bricks uh, by the brick pillar you understand it will just come and rest there yes and um i also learned something from you guys yesterday i have uh, this table that i call a desk here i also i also i also learned that it's called um it's called what it's called uh, a picnic table point taken and there is no calling it a table again it's a picnic table hmm so guys uh, can you imagine this picture in our lawn a couple of months coming when we have guests and then we have like um you see these uh picnic tables let me use that word today now that i don't have another new word in my mouth see having our picnic tables and then they have these uh umbrella customized umbrellas with a very strong material and then um they are, we have like around uh, one two three four we don't need many just four because this is not a restaurant or an hotel that you're expecting people to come in every single second you know breakfast lunch like four of them and then we have people resting outside they are taking their breakfast at a time like this and we have a kitchen here our outdoor kitchen that is just running with this length from that corner to that corner and we just give it a certain width here let's give it a wind eh? from around here to somewhere here because we need another space to build some houses eh? so and then on top of the outdoor kitchen on top of it we have a a, a rooftop area whereby we also have other tables like three or four of them and people are relaxing there also in the evenings looking at the view you know you know can you imagine when there is a kitchen here and then on top we have a rooftop area whereby you can watch the views and you enjoy your uh, maybe dinner or breakfast from there in the mornings mornings you come to the grass area and you relax i mean that will be the best picture and then behind the kitchen we will have another we have we we'll have a very big space remaining we might build either two airframes or one small airframe or a, a hostel like room with like double decker bed so that when we have a group of people coming to adventure in Yabuan, the courtesy of kim adventures they can sleep there comfortably and you know and then i mean in the morning they go for breakfast they go have some shower then we have a Nastos van waiting out here then we go out for our adventures we come in the evening for the bonfire hey ah uh, you guys are not, i don't know whether you can see that picture guys i'm i already feel like i'm there i already feel like it's happening 
already feel like it's happening i know those ca other cabins will be so that's why i need to really work hard on this channel and that's why guys you need to keep subscribing to my channel i realize the more the channel grows the more the viewership grows as well so that's why guys i really want you to take me to 6000 subscribers so that we can keep we can start talking of 7000 subscribers now we are almost at six guys take me there so that we can improve our viewership and then when we improve our viewership we get some money more money and we keep on developing this place now today we're going to be working on the fence and in a couple of months like six months that fence will be like this height look like this height or even this height from down there that fence that is because we're going to be maintaining it we're going to be giving it what it needs when there is no rain we we water it to make sure that it grows and it gives us the best compound ever yes oh i can't wait to see that guys are you ready to see that our fence today when we are talking here it's not even put on the ground today we're going to put it on the ground and we are going to be patient until we see it grow up to the time it can even no one from the outside can see anything oh god is so magical imagine that day is coming and we're going to be here waiting for it we're going to be here in our lawn yes so that is the future and i also told you guys uh this kitchen garden you see let me stand here so that i can tell you no, let me stand on top there so that I can tell you what I'm planning. Number one, we have had a problem with our soil. Our soil is not fertile, but uh, for the boxes, those partitions, I'm planning to work on them. I'm planning to raise them higher. A brother of mine from Namibia called uh, Ranville is one of our moderators here. Ranville tells me that Kim you inspired me to do a kitchen garden and now Ranville is doing way better than me This is what I saw him do um, I saw him uh, raise his boxes with even an iron maybe can put an a, a zinc Material that is an iron sheet then maybe you can do a, a black pepper the one there round but not under just round on the side eh? and then uh, You can always have your soil there you know well mixed with compost and everything more fertile you know adding manure every time lifting the soil and everything yeah guys and then now uh, in every portion we can plant our vegetables so comfortably and we can harvest you know vegetables will, will grow well because because honestly the soil will be so much rich in nutrients and it will always be taken care of and the fence for the kitchen garden I will also change it. I will give it those picketing fence. You see that picketing fence we have, we had done for the nene, for the uh, for the deck. We're going to do the same same picketing fence for our kitchen garden from that corner to that point to that gate, and we'll also do an, a picketing gate, a picket gate, you know, of that design, and then all around up to that side, you know, it will be a very perfect plan. That is a project I have to do before December. Uh, that is, those are the things that must be done when i move in here right now i know oh, i want to put all my attention on the toilet guys and that's why i always tell you pray for my project so that i can move in here but now the kitchen garden will be upgraded when i'm here and uh even um these pathways will be upgraded when i'm here like all that you know the kitchen the whole outdoor kitchen will also be done when i'm here but i've just told you the future of all that Yes. Wow. Even this wall. Now, when we start building the toilet, eh, we'll spare some bricks for all this idea. Someone is calling. Hello. Hey, and don't look out. Quite for me, I can't even be WhatsApp. Oh, ah, eh, excuse me, WhatsApp. Can't even be a bus. Come on, my partner, Sant. Angalia bus. This guy is yeah, So I was telling you, we will spare, we will spare some bricks. We do that, 
and then this fence, eh, will be, these uh, flowers will be continued all along around the pathway. And even, even I'm planning to plant them up there so that we can start taking care of those pathways before we even build the cabins. Let me tell you, before we even build the cabins, I'm going to plant the flowers. We will build a, a smaller brick wall here to just give this level and to make sure the soil from that side doesn't go this side and uh we put some stairs for coming up here and then we plant the pathway will be cutting from the, going to continue with that uh with that level this way so it will be here going that way and then here the pathways will just be that big you know sometimes it's not a good thing to restrict uh, the walking pathways we're going to have it that big just like the way it's it's like from up there yeah so that we can work with the same same and you know on the pathways i can plant more flowers you know to just make sure that uh, the area looks nice yes guys we're just going to go with that level this level is very okay but here we're going to we're going to fix it again on this side we will fix it yes wow i can't wait to see all this happen guys i know you can't also wait to see all that happen so let me finish up my breakfast and i know that guy will be here in a few and then i'll tag you along i know now you want to see him and what he will do but not me <laughs> see you in a few <laughs> so let's go and receive our guests Ah, karibu baba. Karibu sana. Mbuni sana. Umeamka zarama. Umeamka vizuri kabisa. Naona umeingia na vitu vya. Eh, hii ndo kazi yangu. Sijui unaonaje? Hii kazi unaijua ama unasikianga watu wakisema ni kazi mbaya. Unajua huko nilikuja nikapata watu wana maoni mengi mama. Wakiona kamera wanadhani sasa mtu anafanya na shetani kazi. Mimi nikashaka. Eh? Baba wewe umefanya na watu wakubwa wakubwa. Sasa kamera ni shetani jamaa. Ah, kamera sio shetani. Ila sasa wanasema watu wa YouTube eti automatic wana deal na shetani. Oh, jamaa. Maana eti hiyo kazi inatoka kwa shetani. Haya ya ya. Hapo kiliona mimi nakuja kufanya kwa kwa hapa. Unaambia unaenda kufanya pesa ya shetani. Sasa leo Nataka tuiketi ni kuonesha na mama vile hii pesa inatengeneza ngo ndio uone kweli hawa vijana wana wakati mgumu kwanza nitakuelezea kila kitu mimi sasa usingojea mtu mwingine akwambie sasa nitakuonesha vile inajipanga vile hata tax inakatwa kila kitu mpaka analipa kodi tax ina inakatwa sio mchezo unatengeneza hii kiwango kingine inakatwa inaenda kwa tax nalipa tax sikia watu wakifika 1400 hiyo unaanza kupata mtu ah 1000 1000 mpaka kuna viwango na kupata hii elfu moja watu elfu moja wanakufuata hey. sio rais sio rais hey. lakini inakuwa ni vizuri hey. ukifikisha elfu moja hey, elfu moja na pia kuna masaa inahesabiwa hey, hey. so, unajua google hey. unajua google hey. ni product ya google hey, hey. Kila, hata unaona hata hii contacts hey. una hiyo app inakuwekea namba za simu kwa kwa simu yako hey. ni product bado kila kitu baba ya simu nini ni google hey. unaona Okay. Itakuelezea karibuni sana. Uh, sana. Eh tufanye kazi. Oh, yeah. Guys I was explaining to my dad here what YouTube is and I think today I will show him for the sake of the entire community. Maybe he can go telling the other members of the community, you know. Yeah. <laughs> see enough here. Guys Africa will surprise me. Hey. My guy has come with the entire family <laughs> until I was shocked. I was shocked how to film dad mom and daughter oh god when he told me you will come with people to work with i knew it's just boys oh god this is so serious ah, let me go and meet him so he has also said that he will also add me all these flowers remaining here You know I had not introduced in my video because you know for you we know each other on the camera but you came with family so nikashtuka <laughs> I'm trying to tell my dad that he came with the family and then I was shocked you know for you at least I heard you speak you can speak yes. so you can introduce yourself so yeah. that people can get to know you and yes. what you do
Yes, my name is uh, Pastor Shadrach Amaisori Muita. Yeah, he's a pastor actually. Yeah, I'm a gardener. Yeah. And I was been uh, taking my experience through Tanzania. Yeah. Uh, 1994. Okay. When I was experienced from the University of Veta. What? Wow. Veta. Uh, Veta. Mm. In uh, Morogoro. Yeah, I had, I had that school. Very uh, famous. Uh, yeah. Veta. Mm. But now there is that the university calling Minaitoa uh, Davesco. Tanesco. Tanesco. Uh, now there is the change from Veta to Tanesco. Yes. So that is the university which I was in experienced from. Yeah. So since 1994, yes. up to now I'm just experienced. Okay. And I'm just doing this my best work. Yeah. And I try I I try to do this work and I love it very yes. much. Yes. I saw because every other single place in my girls yeah. everywhere it's your work. Yeah. In Nyabuanse yeah. and other sites in Kisumu, Migori. Wow. The Hancha, yeah. every place the part of play in this East Africa. You always work with your family, these jobs within home? Yeah, with my family. And yeah. I have some casuals which I work with them. Yeah. Some they are behind, they are just coming by this right now. Wow. Yeah, so it's not a joke. It's you know when you told me you'll come with people, I said I thought it's just you and two, three boys. Hey, you came with family. I was like, <laughs> what will I give you guys? Don't what? Say eh? I'm the one who fetch water and bring oh, water. Oh, planting. Planting these okay. flowers. Okay. But I have another three boys which I, oh, they are behind. They just coming. Okay. Which they help me for digging. Yeah. Yeah, the place where we are going to plant the flowers. Do you think uh, we can? Uh, is it a good idea we be inside so that uh, to square and should they uh -uh. Mm. This one it is just on the line. Okay. Uh, so when I try to slash, mm. I will slash other side and this side. Oh. So which means the flower it will stand on the line of your, your the boundary. Yes. So it will not extend out, out outside. Or, or yeah, in. yeah. Uh, so it will, which means that it will stand on the line. On the line. Uh, on the line. Wow. According to the boundary. Yes. Uh, so that's why I'm following this uh, wire. Yeah. Because I uh, you know that when they will terminate, they will terminate through the wire. Oh. And when I will be just uh, weaving, yes. I will weave them through this wire. Okay. Yeah, uh, following the wire okay. and uh, weaving those flowers through the wire. Okay. Uh, so I'm sure that it will grow. Yes. According to the wire yes. and it will get it tight because the the flower it will just growing up yeah yeah you know this this one this post if you are going to roast or oh, they will roast so what do you uh, think i will do one day yeah uh, for this now yeah. if we are planting now yeah we are by the time it's the uh, it's roasting eh? uh, yes so this one this one it will get lost but this is the flower it will, will get, stand yeah uh, stand and they will be strong eh? yeah and they will be strong wow according to this wire oh, okay yeah because this is the the one i will weave in and out oh and out. yes and when they just go growing up yes they will stand and uh, and just it tightly. Okay. That wire to get it tightly in, yes. o, in the flower. Exactly. So which is, means that the flower will grow yes. without any discrimination. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. So this is what I'm doing. Yes. I'm just uh, digging in the fall. You know when you reach to make the reach. Yes. The, the sun when it's just uh, shining. Yes. The flower will not germinate well. So but just, now uh -huh. if, if I'm just digging like this. Yes. You can come with the fertilizer. Okay. And the boot. In About the, the fertilizer, I'm not an expert. I'll also look for you when it comes to fertilizer. Yeah. You so help when me. I'm just doing here, yeah. I will plant in the fall in the the fall in as it is. Yes. So according to the fall, I will leave the, the fall of the, the fertilizer. Yes. Whenever is a green fly, uh, green manure. Yes. All this. Uh, uh, the CN, CN, yes. Yeah. So my question is, when we are taking care of them, like, well, yes. how many months do we need to see at least a good height? It won't even pan at a But uh, this thing is just uh, growing um, very slow. Okay. Uh, according to the area, yes. How it is fertilized. Okay. If the area is not fertilized, yeah. So the flower it will not germinate uh, quick. So what about then when we goes, so we will have to fertilize and uh, the fertilizer and yeah. then in the enough water. Yes. You know that nowadays the sun is very too much. Yeah, it's too much. Uh, yeah. So these things it like to be watered. To spray, uh, they to need spray. water. They so need when water. we take care of it well, uh, we give it water, the yes. fertilizer. Uh, like how long can you estimate? 
last bit then we will have a good height about one year about one year uh, one then, year yes we come in a, a stage of okay in a good stage a good fence now a good fence wow we are ready for the challenge guys are you ready for the challenge i'm also ready for that challenge uh, okay so, so that's i'm um, just making this valley this one it yeah. makes the the flower comes quick okay uh, oh. instead of the rich oh but when you make rich that the flower will not come soon okay uh, it will take a very long time oh. but now when we are just making this one yes. every water coming from the the side yeah it will to drop in drop here uh, oh uh, to drop in and stay in yes yeah every time this we get is just uh, uh gold okay uh, wow like those ones there they are like uh, uh four months five months old uh, you know this yeah. one here yeah you see like this one mm -hmm. it becomes small but mm -hmm. that one becomes big yes and you plant it in the same time yeah so this place every every water which is coming from the fall here yeah yeah just it's going to that area even the, the grass there is more green than uh, this one here yeah uh, than yes. this one here yeah so the now which we can say we can make a rich uh, oh uh, uh, faro faro yeah yeah in instead of the rich okay rich, it, it will not stay with water okay but the far it is stay with water okay so it's the thing which i we are i'm going to do yes i will dig this one again yes and then we, we every water coming from there yeah in my in my here okay when it, the water is staying here mm -hmm. the flower is just growing up very soon ah, very sat, good sat to find evil ah but what you don't go there and you know could you then to answer so i have sent okay okay so how much come yeah juice juice you could have come with the like in the jua mimi nili jua uku jua una jua uku jua kama ita ingili up on that eh like in any sour to in a shit Eh, ili uma saidia nje nje tu. Asante. Kuna marafiki zangu hapo wanachota maji wananipandia maua. Mm. Wanachota hapo wako nilikuwa nataka nikwambie pia. Sawa. Aya. Aya. Okay. Alamu kemanzi. Eh. Hey. Na hiyo nikitaka ni kuchunga kwa watoto wangu si lazima mtumia. Eh, naweza nini? Hii, eh, naweza tengeneza nimtumie. Oh. Eh. Utani basi utanipea baadaye basi. Eh. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> he wants this video after we are done and everything. You know, the one that he was talking the job. You know, we can at least share with his uh we can at least share with one of his son through WhatsApp. Maybe I will send them the link, you know. Wow. So he is um guys <laughs> we, are, we are doing this, you know. We got this, trust me. So at least we are just getting started and uh, see the family is also say, saying that there is uh, some sons coming. Ah, they're going to, oh God, guys, what are we going to do to this family? Oh, I did not expect this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. <laughs> hey. Wow, this guy means work. He has come with the entire family. Mom, daughter, sons are coming. Oh, this is not a joke. This ain't a joke, guys. Okay, let's wait and see what will happen. Let's wait and see. Yeah. At least I have his deposit at my hand. So, <laughs> I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, eva to evaluate and, uh, you know. Oh, God. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Wow. So they're going to start up. They will also plant flowers even here. Up to the corner. No leaving even a single spot. <sighs> wow. This is not a joke guys. They have come with a lot of flowers. Let me show you. I don't know where they these are the flowers. Here they are. Like a lot of them. These ones. These ones here. See that? There are a lot of them. They are coming with more and more. Okay. Personally, let me at least give them time. They work out something and then I, I show you what they will have done at, at a certain point. Yes. I'll see you. Guys, we're still 
continuing with work and uh, uh we have also marked somewhere new where flowers are going to go see this new line i want you to see that pathway it's the same same pathway down here the same same going to have flowers going up there just like the other ones you know the way they are doing at the fence area lots of flowers on this other side going up here yes Down there, flowers on this other side. Flowers, wow! Guys, we're still working. Wow, flowers! We are making the furrows, the I don't know how I can call them anyway, but the. Guys, how can we call this? Is it barrels or what? I don't have an idea. I don't want to misuse English again. Let's see what Sospita is doing. Sospita. Wow, here you go, Sasa. Sasa. Here, Sasa, now. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Ah, here, Sasa, I'm going to go to the house. Oh, Sasa. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. To plant flowers inside. Hey, here to tembele nanda ni tuiva. Good, that's good. Kila maji taka tu nanyashi hapa ndogo. Hey, hey, inengi apa ndani? Yonde na saidi ya maua. Hey, maua ina ina taka maji mengi. Hey, na maji mengi na boku na ni maua na kujia raka raka. Bas. Hey, mana hapa ire ire. Ile mbora inakuja yes. ya from the soil erosion. Yeah. Hiyo inafanya maua ina chamineti haraka na mea haraka. Okay. Inakuwa haraka haraka. Wow. Eh, lakini ukiweka hii mraba. Eh. Mraba sasa haipati hata ma, mizizi inakuja juu. Yeah. Haipati nguvu ya kuro. Uh -huh. eh, lakini ukiweka kwa mtaro hivyo. Uh -huh. Maji mbora yoyote kitoka huko mavia ngombe nini whatever. Mhm. Mm yeah, coming and staying there. Oh. They are making the flower to, to grow faster, faster now. Faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's why we are making the, the fire. Okay. okay. Because it needs more. Okay. The flower it needs more more fertilizer. Okay. Yeah. And wow. the fertilizer is your most comes from Everywhere. The natural one, natural. mavia ngombe yeah. wapi kwa barabara yeah. ya kuku. This green manure. Yes. This leaves. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Guys, I think I'm learning. You know, it tells me when when, the, when when it's raining and then the water is naturally flowing down the landscape. A lot of uh, natural manures, you know. When we have these uh, nice tunnel here, pl flowers planted inside there, then they will all be stuck here and they will help the flowers to grow. So we're going to do this tunnel all around uh, the fence. Personally, I brought him because he's an expert and he has done this. You had this story since Tanzania, Veta University, when it was called Veta. And then, uh, yeah, now let's learn from the best. People have done this before we were even born. So let's learn. It might seem a normal thing what he's doing, but you know, the idea behind planting and taking care of it, we're going to learn. And this one was mine that I was marking here going to dig it more deeper i was just marking the line first and then i dig it so that we can have more flowers down there and our pathway of course as usual yes so you see exactly where there is cassava that's a portion for a cabin where this tomato that's a portion for a cabin up down there it's a portion for a kitchen garden and here it's a portion for another cabin yes. we have a Guys, our kitchen will have a top area on top. Trust me, like a rooftop where you can relax and watch that view. You know. Yes, this we're going to be doing this for. I know. I am very sure tomorrow is the day that I will show you what what happened. I'm very sure tomorrow it's when I will show you exactly what happened. So for today, at least we have launched this project. You've seen him, the family, the family, and yes, we got this. Let me show you what we have done. We've done a lot of work, I'm telling you. Let's start inside here. Flowers have been planted from this corner towards that corner. We also have the neighbors seated here at our farm. 
We are having a lot of stories with my neighbors and I love it so much. I'm enjoying, I'm telling them stories from my village. They're also telling me stories from here. And you see this young man is also making those tunnels down there for the flowers. You have flowers up to that corner. Yes, so... Yes, I don't want to film <laughs> neighbors, but at least I've shown you people. You have those two seated there. And those others are working. Yeah. Yes. Guys, now I want to show you what you've been doing so that we can end our story here. And uh, wow, it's been a long journey. I think I showed you down there, they have planted from that corner to this corner, this way. So the trick is uh, when uh, all the west, I mean all the manure will come and the soil with the manure will come and fill the tunnel. And they will keep growing that is the strategy is using just grown this corner this way down here you know let me show you what he has been doing but they have not finished planting yet they're going to plant more down there we're going to go around the cabin guys uh i want to end this story here because i got some visitors and i want to say thank you so much for watching since morning tomorrow there is something we added we added these two this type of flowers hey ini type mzuri jamani hey so hii ina grow tu peke yake kama kama kabushi hivi kama kabushi wow ni mzuri sana asante so that one will grow there in the middle and it will divide it will di divide two areas this side and that side so guys uh thank you so much for watching our story and uh, for following everything i want to see you in the next story guys and i love you so much wow and uh see we have started working on the fence like i told you just one thing at a time now the only thing that is holding us back is the toilet but we're gonna be fixing that very soon by god's grace Guys, I love you so much and uh, let me see in the next story. May God bless whatever it is that you touch. May God bless your endeavors. May God bless your family. May God bless your dreams. And may God come through to you to what you believe in Him in. I'll see you in the next story.